guys, this is Nick from 034 Motorsport and today I'm gonna to be explaining our advanced launch control features that are now available for the B8 and B8.5, and S4 and S5, equipped with a 3.0T supercharged engine. Uh, a lot of people have been asking for these types of ignition cut launch features and we've rolled in a couple other updates along with this. So here I am in our uh, shop, Audi B8 S4 with the 3.0T supercharged engine. Uh, and I'm gonna walk through our current launch control features and how to enable our advanced launch control features. So to start, I'll walk through our current and existing launch control features. Uh, the way that you will access these launch control features is with having the cruise control stock pushed into the off position. Cruise control on. Cruise control off. The original launch control is very familiar and, and similar to what most of you are already running today. Uh, what it is is to multi-step launch control. So based on your throttle position, it will hold at different incremental RPM ranges along the tack. So what you can do is put the car in drive, turn traction control off, no matter of your drive mode, you put your foot all the way down on the brake, and in different increments of your foot position of a little, a lot, midway, and all the way down, the car will hold at different RPMs, as you can see here. Now that's our normal launch RPM setup. Uh, that's what you'll have on most of your cars today already using 034 Motorsport TCU software. Uh, where the new features come into play is only when you toggle on the cruise control uh, stock into the on position. Cruise control on. Now what happens when you turn cruise control on or move the stock into the on position, you'll hear the fans start to whir. Uh, that what happens there is the coolant pumps for the heat exchanger are now running at 100% capacity and the radiator fans are now running at 100% capacity. This is to keep the coolant cool while you're staging in lanes or you know while you're preparing to launch. Uh, this is especially handy when you're at the drag strip to keep IATs down low while you're waiting to get up into the staging lanes. Once you go over 10 kilometers an hour, they operate as normal. In order to adjust the launch control RPM, you wanna have your foot off of the brake and have your hand on the cruise control switch with the toggle switched in the on position. If you pull the cruise control stock forward, you will see your current launch RPM displayed on the tachometer. So in this case right here, we're set to a little over 4,100 RPM. To change this up or down, you simply let go of the cruise control stock and click it in whatever increment downward or upward to raise and lower your launch, launch RPM. So now if you pull forward and see, you are at a different RPM. Every time you click down, it is changing down in increments of 100 RPM, as seen here. Click down a few more. This allows for easy finite adjustment of your launch uh, position. Another way you can do this with the cruise control in the on position is with your foot off of the brake, in park at a standstill, you can free rev the engine to your desired RPM range and click the set button. Then when you pull it on the stock forward, it will confirm the location that you just set it at. So for example, if I want 4,000 RPM, with my foot off the brake, I'm going to rev the throttle to 4,000, and I'm going to hit the set button. Now if we check, we're at 4,000 RPM. This allows you to switch very easily on the fly to whatever launch RPM that you would like, either in finite incremental adjustments of uh, 100 RPM, or to your specified launch RPM based off of the cruise control set button. Now the style of launch control that's going to be enabled is going to be directly related off of your drive select um, status for cars that are equipped with test pipe uh, files. There's going to be two variants of this launch control, one that is safe for catalytic converters and one that is requires test pipes. 
So for a car that already has test pipes on it, you can toggle between the non-catalytic converter and catalytic converter variants. That is done with the selection of your uh, drive select. So for example, in comfort mode, in this car, which is equipped with the ignition cut file, as denoted by the test pipe map. If I go ahead and enable launch control as one normally would, you'll see it does not operate in the normal fashion. That is even with the cruise control stock pulled forward. If I go ahead and click over to dynamic, it enables the ignition cut launch control features. All of that can be changed on the fly via your dynamic and comfort modes. To give you an idea of what this sounds like, I will go ahead and demonstrate the different launch modes. So first I'm going to do the catalyst safe mode and I'm in comfort uh, drive select situation. Foot all the way down on the brake, foot all the way down on the gas, as normally would with your launch control. Now I'm going to select over into dynamic I'm going to set the launch RPM to 2,500. So I'm revving upwards, got to put the car in park, foot off the brake, I'm revving upwards, and I'm setting at 2,500 with the set button. And I confirm now it's at 2,500. So I put the car back in drive, foot all the way down on the brake. Just that simple. The car will hold itself at 25 RPM, begin the ignition cut launch control features, and then when you're ready to go, you can let off of the throttle and you'll launch and accelerate away. So now I'll go ahead and demonstrate some of the other launch RPM modes. So I'm gonna click it up five to 3000 RPM. And we'll try out 3500. all the way to 4,000. And all the way to 5,000. 5,000 is the highest that you can set it. To demonstrate how to enable these launch features on the catted versions of this file, I'm gonna go ahead and move over to our cat installed B8.5 S4. The non-ignition cut style advanced launch control is as safe to use as any other launch control style feature that we've used on our prior tuning and as you currently already have for most of your launch control styles. Uh, this can be used with catalytic converters or test pipes. Um, it is safe on factory catalytic converters and will be available for every tune file from stage one all the way to stage two plus. So this car will operate as normal as it will with the cruise control off as your regular launch control features. So foot planted on the brake, different RPM ranges based on your throttle position, and you launch. Toggle the cruise control switch on. You'll hear the fans begin to run. You can pull forward to confirm that it's running and it's set at the initial launch RPM of 2500 and all you do is foot on the brake, mash the gas, and it'll hold at your launch RPM. Just like in the other car, click it up, pull forward to confirm, mash the, mash the brake and mash the gas, easy. So to utilize the cruise control set button, foot off the brake, car in park, free rev to your desired RPM below 5,000 RPM, set, pull forward on it, and you'll see your RPM. If you want to change it up again, you can click on the cruise control button, or the cruise control stock, and change its RPM. Then the process is exactly the same. Car in drive, foot on the brake, mash the gas, and release the brake pedal or clutch pedal when you're ready to launch. Uh, to get the ignition cut style launch control, you have to select the test pipe plus advanced launch control feature files that will be found in your uh, flash portal. And we only recommend those for cars that are running test pipes as the back pressure of a high flow catalytic converter or a factory catalytic converter 
um, can cause severe engine damage. We do not recommend you sit on the launch control for longer than 10-ish seconds uh, as it just it introduces excess heat that isn't necessary in the car. Um, with the advanced launch control ignition cut style, it does pop flames out the back, which is obviously very dangerous for your catalytic converters and is not allowed to be used on road. It is only an off-road equipped uh, feature. We hope you guys all enjoy the new features brought via the advanced launch control updates. Uh, if you guys have any questions, of course, shoot an email to tuning at 034motorsport.com. We're here to walk you through step-by-step -step how to use all of these features, as well as refer to the PDF uh, install and user guide instructions that are released alongside with this video and on our product page.